Hey everyone, it's meteorologist Joseph Pisani in today's video. So glad you are here with us. Thanks for watching. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at the 2024 solar eclipse and specifically the cloud forecast to see whether or not you will actually get to see the eclipse. But before we dive into the computer models, be sure to hit that like, share, and subscribe button. Share this video with a friend that may be watching the eclipse with you, all right? Let's go ahead and dive into the computer model. So this is going to be brought to you by Pivotal Weather, great website that they have up here for specifically the eclipse forecast on their website, pivotalweather.com. So we're looking here at the cloud cover forecast, okay? And let me explain a couple things here to you guys because this may, may be new to a lot of you. So the shadings in blue is the percentage of cloud cover. So the brighter the blue shading here, the higher the probability of total cloud cover. Where you have the white area and the gray shading, less cloud cover is expected for the eclipse. Okay, so this is our... Uh, blend model here and we can see we're gonna have a storm system that's gonna be coming across the US and with that storm system there are gonna be clouds and showers and thunderstorms across especially across portions of Texas Louisiana to Mississippi and we can see the path of totality here is in red okay so Texas not looking that great as we get up here into Arkansas into southern Missouri Illinois and Indiana better probability of actually being able to see the eclipse into Western Ohio, then more cloud cover expected here across portions of Western Pennsylvania into Western New York. Let's take a look here. Let's go section by section. So as we can see here, across Texas, 90% coverage in San Antonio, 94% in Austin. So Again, this will change. These computer models will change. There's still a couple days here before the event. As we move into northern Texas, so less cloud cover here as we get further north. So Texarkana, we can see 57%. Paris, Texas, as we move further north. Arkansas, things are actually looking pretty good. So we've got 39% in Hot Springs, 37% uh, up in Little Rock, Jonesboro. I mean, it's looking only 24% cloud cover. So pretty good probability. Missouri, about the same in the 20 to 30% range and across southern Illinois. As we get into Indiana, Indianapolis only about 24% cloud cover. So things looking pretty good there. Again, that's why we're seeing this section between Missouri, Illinois, Indiana. Some of the best probability for actually getting to see the eclipse. As we get here into Ohio, things, especially across Northeast Ohio, more clouds with associated with that cold front. And then Western New York, Buffalo, New York, down toward Jamestown, 50-60% cloud cover possible. The best area though we're seeing for the total solar eclipse is in the New England area, stretching from Vermont over through New Hampshire and into Maine, very little to no cloud cover is expected across these areas. Now, I did mention that we are going to be having a severe weather system that's going to be moving through. And this is exactly what we're talking about. You know, you can see here that some of these key messages from the National Weather Service. Our best chances for clearer viewing is going to be, like we were just seeing, northern New England and from southern Missouri to central Indiana. But there's obviously still some uncertainty in this forecast, so be sure to check back with us here at Extreme Weather Videos for the latest forecast. Now, if you're in Texas, Ohio, northwest Pennsylvania, western New York, clouds could impede your viewing experience. We could see some showers across portions of Texas, Oklahoma, southern Arkansas, and even thunderstorms across portions of the south central U.S. Like I mentioned, we are looking at the possibility of some severe weather and flash flooding, especially across portions of northeast Texas, southeast Oklahoma. All of those areas could see some severe weather on Monday. So 
We'll have to see what, what exactly happens. So be sure to stay with us here at Extreme Weather Videos. We'll keep you guys updated. Follow us here on YouTube if you're not. Share this video with a friend. We'll probably be doing uh, some live streaming on Monday of the actual solar eclipse, hopefully. And we'll catch you guys on the next video. Thanks for watching.